Hi, Jim Shaw from Crystal Group here. Just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about mill standard 810, uh, method 514. Uh, the current mill spec is at Rev H right now. And so I um, thought we'd just dive in a little bit deeper this time and talk a little bit more about not only the equipment that, that goes on the, the vibration table, but also the vibration table itself. Since we've got a, we've got a Ling uh, table right here, um, this has a slip plate on it. This, uh, this particular model is a uh, ling that has a one inch stroke and it can do 6,000 pounds force at uh, either sign or random vibration. The machine here can do um, 12,000 pound force um, in terms of shock. Uh, so it's a, it's a medium range machine. It's uh, relatively capable. We've got a control system that allows us to tailor the input vibration um, for whatever specific platform we're, at, we're testing on. A little bit about uh, the, the testing that we do here. We, we typically focus on procedure one, which has um, the, basically is set up for um, how, what kind of vibration these units see in the field. And so that's essentially what we're doing the testing for, but we also do some ESS testing also, um, some shock, um, uh, which is method 516. Um, but in, in this particular case, you know, we do a lot of our own design of fixtures, and I think that's kind of an important thing to talk about for a moment. Um, fixture design can be pretty tricky. Um, so uh, when you do do fixture design, make sure that you have a very rigid structure that you're, you're working with. We always include the mounting rails in the fixture design. So we, uh, we basically mount the system the way it's going to be used in the application. And uh, in doing that, you've kind of included uh, the rack level or the, the vehicle level um, interface to the, the vibration problem. So it provides a more complete solution in terms of uh, making sure you're testing the right thing. The other thing when you're looking at a fixture is always put your control on the fixture, not necessarily on the table. Um, a lot of these fixtures, when you run them by themselves, you can find a ring in them or ringing. And it's typically in some of the higher frequencies, but you wanna watch for that so that uh, uh, you don't induce failures in your equipment because of um, ringing uh, fixtures in, on, the, on the vibration table. Um, so the fixture can be a problem if you're not careful. So be mindful of, of proper fixture design in terms of the stiffness and do a scan on it uh, for resonant frequencies and then monitor that to, uh, to see if you have any problems. Um, again, it's always a good idea to mount your control accelerometer on the fixture so that you can um, emulate exactly what, is, what it is you're trying to uh, put forth on, in terms of the energy input into the unit. In, in this case, we've got a 1U twin uh, in here and we're doing some power supply and uh, some, uh, some testing for some of the components inside. Um, so in this particular case, I believe that we have a, we have a rather broad spectrum for the input frequencies. Um, it takes into account C130, um, AH60, uh, C17, and wheeled vehicles. So we've overlaid all of those particular profiles over a single uh, test so that we can test many types of vehicle applications in one shot. And so it's really, a, it's a good way to do that. It does cause the vibration profile to go up um, so that you can cover all of those vehicles. So that's one of the downsides. Um, so uh, what are you looking for when you're, when you're doing vibration? You're looking for wire chafing. Um, you're looking for intermediate connections, electrical connections. You're looking for damaged components, uh, broken solder joints anything like that. So these are, these, are, these are the reasons that we do the vibration testing. Generally, you'll have to tailor your profile to exact application that the equipment's being used in. Like I said, we, we use a relatively broad spectrum of terms of the power spectral density input, uh, but at the same time, uh, we're doing, you can, do, you can change the duration. Uh, so we're, uh, you try to balance that. Uh, we do have specific customers that come to us and say, I want this exact profile perfect you know that's exactly what what we can do um, and we appreciate that so um, just a, a little bit of input here on uh, uh, vibration and vibration testing at crystal group so 
Thank you very much.